Hey everybody, Miles J here, and I'm so busy! I got senior stuff to do, and you may ask, what is that? First off, I gotta handle theater business. I gotta practice lines for three different plays. One is on March 12th, one is on March 19th, and the other is at the end of the month, and I don't even know my lines for any of them. I've been slacking off in school lately, so I'm trying to catch up on my classes so I can graduate. Advanced placement classes are a bitch. Senior fees are burning holes in my parents' pockets, not to mention college. I haven't applied for anything yet, I haven't filled out my fast for right, and I'm so sorry for posting late again. It's just so much is going on. As you can see this week, I am too damn busy. Also dealing with the stress from being oppressed by my school. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it! Sometimes I just wanna go rah, rah, like a dungeon dragon. So, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get on to the questions. First off, Ryan, do you think fashion should hurt? Is it worth it? I don't think fashion should hurt, but it does. My case in point, these babies right here. Uh, I was at my friend's house with these heels on. I was practically doing squats. Drop down and get your eagle on, girl. But um, basically I was doing this over and over and over and over again. My thighs still hurt. Ryan, as for those sandals, I don't think fashion should hurt like that. Your shoes and your socks and your pants or whatever, your shirts, should not be cutting you. So what I suggest is you wrap that sandal up in some, put like a pad on the bottom of it so that way it's not scraping against your foot. Because I don't know what that material was or what it was made of, but I wore these, these, and did squats in them. And my foot was not cut. So you need to get that fixed. Make it work. Next question comes from Brian and Daniel. And Brian and Daniel ask me my thoughts on Born This Way. Now, before I get started, a lot of people didn't like the music video because one, they didn't understand it, two, they thought it was dark and meaningless and depressing, and three, because, you know, it was Lady Gaga and they thought she was copying Madonna. And, well, I just want to address that first. Okay, so most of the people, you know, their expectation for the video will go a little something like this. Rainbow appears, Born This Way. Lady Gaga's gonna do a little shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. And everything was gonna be really pretty and guys were gonna prance around in rainbow underwear. And we'll add an extra black guy in there too. Yeah, right. And we all know that video was never gonna happen. It was very, um, feminist with the, um, ovaries and, you know, female reproductive system in the Vs. Um, lots of symbolism, lots of imagery. I think most people don't understand that Lady Gaga's music videos are actually art. Unlike Kesha and a lot of the other videos, Hers are actually real life art, like stage art. The videos in there, everything she does in that video is for a reason, like everything. And that's one of the things about art too, is that people interpret it in many different ways, and that's why a lot of people didn't like it, I assume. Despite the fact, I did go and watch and read a, uh, I guess you can say sort of a synopsis. I'm gonna put a link down to that in the description, and you guys, if you're interested enough, can go read it for yourself. It actually helped me understand the video a lot more. And I would suggest that for everyone who didn't understand, and for everyone who didn't like it, I'm sorry you weren't able to enjoy it. Whoosh, flew right over their heads. So yeah. Okay, so my flip cam just fizzed out on me, and it's being retarded, so. So now this video is gonna take even longer to upload. <laughs> Yay! Fuck my life. Scott asks, what's the least favorite job I had? My least favorite job is the one that I have to get down on my knees for. Just kidding. I've never held a job before. When I do, I will make sure I let all of you know. Next question comes from, or more like a demand, comes from Roland. And Roland says, give me your best English accent. Um, I tried in my last video. Somebody said I failed, and I didn't think I did that bad, but um, he was from England, and he said he knew, so... I guess I did. Let's try this again and see if I don't fail terribly. He wants us to say water bottle, computer, yogurt, and tomato, and orange. And this is how I would say it. There's actually different English accents, but um, I'm going to try two different ones. I can do the one without pronouncing the T, like water bottle, computer, yogurt, tomato, and orange. Water bottle. Computer, yogurt, tomato, and orange. What? Yeah, I don't know. It probably sucked. Whatever. Now I gotta ask a question. What would you guys like to see me parody? Let me know down below. You can leave video responses too. I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye. Have a great weekend. And don't forget to watch Ride on Monday. Alright, bye.